Here you go, buddy. Here you go, buddy. You got cute teeth? Yeah, you do. That's how you make the coffee. She stands here every morning and does the same thing. Because someone when she was little told her that's how you make coffee. <laughs> it will not make if you don't do this. <laughs> it's early. Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. I mean, a tart pop. A tart pop? Tart pop. Yeah, in Canada, we don't have pop tarts. It's backwards. Tart pop. <laughs> the tart pop. This is what I do to friends. Oh, chocolate fudge. You know the friends, on, on cheat day, I do not do fasted cardio because um, my belly is too hungry, so I always put a little something in there. Yeah, it's called fatted cardio if anyone wants to try it out. <laughs> it's called tart pop cardio. Yeah. We're trying a new, we heard about this new trend on the internet, fatted cardio, <laughs> where you shovel in Pop-Tarts, cookies, and stuff before you do cardio in the morning. As soon as you wake up in the morning, you start shoving food in your mouth, and then do your cardio. I worked We're going to try it out. heard a lot of people had success stories with it. It works wonders. What kind is that, fudge? Yeah, chocolate fudge. Chocolate fudge. Mm. Smells good. Uh-oh. Those He's are, thick. Uh, you get extra grease with, with that one. It's a little thick. Yeah, spotted. Let's try these weird things. They might, I don't know. It's like on the verge, on the line of being too healthy, but we picked it up because chocolate. Yeah, and new. So both those things we like, new and chocolate. So the friends, we picked this up like um, a month ago. We seen it on the shelf one day yeah. and it's gone now. Yeah. So glad we picked it up. Look at them. Looks chocolatey. Take some out for the friends. They look pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, one for you, one for Now more. some of these some of these shreddy type things can lose their steam when you put milk on them, they lose all their flavor. Mmm. They don't they're not the chocolatiest at first. Mm. But then they have a really good chocolate flavor. One more. I think this is a cereal that's going to be way better dry. That's mm -hmm. my prediction. Mm. Mm. Look, there's chocolate in the middle. It actually tastes like there's chocolate chips or something in the middle. Like really, mm -hmm. really good chocolate. Yeah, of course mm. these would leave because they're actually really good. Wow. Mm. I like these. Oh, yeah. Mm. Those are so good. Wow, that was surprising. I didn't think they would be that good. I actually thought it was going to be one of those growth, gross health cereals. Me too. The only thing about shreddies or shredded wheat, and the friends, maybe you can say what you think. In milk, they get really soggy, so I'm only going to eat these dry. I'm not going to put them I'm in I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to save them for dry snack. So we got to tell the friend, are you soggers or non-soggers? Because... I like some soggy cereal, but that... Some stuff gets mush. Yeah. There. Tell us if you're a mini wheat sogger. Oh, <clears throat> Don't be a mini wheat sogger. That's a tip. Yeah, there's some cereal people that have... They, they got to eat their cereal real fast, and they don't like a lot of milk because anything's soggy. They're just... They're, they're over that stuff. Oh, goodness. Look at this. We put the lid on backwards. No. That'll happen. 
in a cereal rage that will happen. You gotta start with the chocolate base. Mmm. Crunchy. I like those. Yeah, that's good. Start with that chocolate base. Yep. Double chocolate craze. Chocolate then, frosted flakes. Mmm. One random marshmallow. Indeed, the. Uh, some other. Some dog food. Mocha crunch. Mocha crunch. <laughs> um, now throw in a little fruit. Whoa. Fruity pebbles, donut cereal. This is ghetto crunch berries. Yeah, this is no name crunch berries. It's actually very, very good. Surprisingly, surprisingly good. I can't believe how good we it is. We were laughing right? when we first tried them because we were expecting, okay, it'll, because we don't get crunch berry in Canada. So we were like, okay, we'll get ghetto crunch berry. Mmm. And, um, it's really good. Pretty surprisingly good. Okay. Then we got Nutter Butter and Oreo. Whoa. And you got a topic. Both of those cereals, guys, if you haven't tried them, uh, the Oreos and the Nutter Butter are amazing. You got to top it with at least a bit. <laughs> Always got to end with chocolate. Because you don't want to leave space in that bowl. No, you can't have no space in that belly. Okay, the friends. Pray that the milk carton opens. Give us the luck. Luck! You know, anybody that's opened these things, they half of them are uh, faulty. You know, we uh, didn't get as many luckers as we should have. But it still worked. Yeah. About 75% work. The friends. Workage. Then. You failing us there. Let's milk around. Okay, milk around with this weird carton. You got it. This is a very careful art. You are the best milker ever. You always gotta milk around. This is a very, very particular art. There, and then you gotta test the depth. Yeah. Oh, in, yeah. Put in your depth stick. She's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Somebody's right. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. How's that mix? Good. Mm-hmm. That's the stuff mm. right there. You know, like, the fruit, the fruity cereal and the nutter butter and the chocolate, it all just melts melts together for a beautiful combo. And you know what, friends? We are, we're trying to live a balanced lifestyle, so you can't just have chocolate. You need your fruit as well. Mm-hmm. Your dairy, your chocolate, and your fruit. It's a whole meal. And your marshmallow. Yeah, that's an important food. Yeah, like that? And if you drop some all over yourself or on the table, you can just pick it up with your hand and eat it with your hands. The friends is road trip snacks. Mesa flavor. Chester's makes popcorn now? What the heck? It's brand new to Canada, Nuna. Oh yeah, we've had the... Chester's makes that cheese popcorn, but never a plain butter. Yeah. A bure. A bur burr. A burr. Burr. Nice souffle burr. So the friends, they gotta open this. You gotta get the luck. I gotta open it first. Oh, look at the dad. He's so nice. It's always safe to have the driver open stuff. Always. Does it smell good like burr? Oh, yeah. Smell it, the friends. It smells like carnival popcorn. Oh, that's good. It smells delicious. It smells like carny corn. Look at <laughs> Hold it like closer. It? I got gum. I can't eat that right now. I'm trying to cut back. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Pretty good. Today I'm going to do another new diet trend that we heard about on the internet. Intermittent fattening. <laughs> Where I eat a lot and then I wait five minutes while I chew a piece of gum and then I eat a lot again. <laughs> Intermittent fattening. That's a good one. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to drive with no hands. You know what? Um, this Chester, it's better than the smart food version of the movie butter. Wow, I was just gonna ask you how we, how would you, cause you're, you are the butter popcorn connoisseur, butter flavor. You don't like real or fake butter on popcorn. No, I but don't. The, that kind of popcorn, you're the connoisseur of that. How does it rank amongst the others? Like there's the Orville Redenbacher, there's the, um, there's the Great Value brand. Yeah, that Canadian Great Value. And then there's Smart Food. Um, I'm gonna go out and say that it's the best bag movie theater 
butter flavor popcorn I've ever had. That's saying something because you know your butter popcorn. It's delicious. Like at first when I took the first bite, it was like it tasted generic. Yeah. And then as I ate a few more bites, it it's like salty and buttery and it's pretty close to movie theater popcorn. Wow. That's... Like for a store-bought bag. Way to go, Chester. Yeah. I hope... I hope that they actually keep this here because Canada has a, a habit of bringing good stuff and then taking it away. And it's a bad habit, let me tell you. Really bad. But this, uh, if you guys get this, it's worth a shot. Oh, really good. Talk with your mouth full. Okay. <laughs> oh, the friends, it's another snack. Okay, the friends, I seen these. Um, on Instagram and I thought they were only for the states and then my Hawkeye saw them at the grocery store look at peanut butter rolls your Hawkeye oh. I thought you said your hot guy I was like who the heck is the hot guy uh, I'm the only hot guy uh, around here then I realized you said something weird Hawkeye Hawkeye hello why is it hot guy okay oh yeah, my you're looking at the hot guy <laughs> yes I am Mmm, you know, they look in the shape of Rolos, but they just really taste like Reese's Cups. They're Reese's Cups. I wonder if that's the same company, probably. Um, Nestle? Not probably. Does peanut butter cups get made by Nestle? I'm guessing they do. It tastes exactly like that. Mmm. -hmm. Good. Yeah, there's no difference. They just taste like peanut butter cups. Which is not a bad thing, just I was hoping for Rolo peanut butter cup. Yeah, me too. That's okay. They're That's good. Okay. Delicious. It's okay, Hawkeye. It's okay, Hawkeye. That's my smooth walk. That's super smooth, like liquid. <laughs> That's how I roll. All right, lunch time. New Miss Vicky's flavor. Gotta show the new sticker in the corner there. Yes, so me and Nicole will buy anything that has this on it. And it's not a sticker, it's, it's, just, it's just a label. It's a sticker. But anything that says Nouveau or New, we're buying it. Look at this, sweet southern barbecue. We're a slave to modern marketing. Been curious about these bad boys. Okay. Barbecue. Just get, barbecue? Get barbecue smell. That's what they look like. Let's hope there's some difference between a normal barbecue chip. Mmm. Is there a different? Yeah. Would you like to try one? I would love to. You got a good one. You know what? Thank you. Okay. If you have like ribs or any good barbecue sauce on ribs, that's what they taste like. The first flavor though is just barbecue chip. After though, you get the sweetness. Mmm. That barbecue sauce, smoky. Yes, you do. What is this? Sweet Southern, I would also say smoky sweet Southern barbecue. Wow, that's good. And I like it in the kettle chip. Good. That was excellent. I hope that we keep those. We recommend those. That's a that's that's a good one. There's a little bit of a spice at the end. Yeah. I like that. Mm, nice. We'll be is getting it, those again. Does it matter which bun? No. We got cheese buns, friends, and uh, some. Whoa! Wow. I didn't know about that. Neither did I. Look at that. There's actual cheese in there. And there's. Huh. It's like swirly. There's actual cheese-like product in there. Wow. Those it, look great. Can't believe it's not margarine. <laughs> Hot Genoa salami, even though we ordered regular salami, the, the lady was having some problems the at the counter. Major so problems. She, we said sliced, mild Genoa salami. She asked us literally four times. Yeah, four times. What we wanted in a span of 20 seconds. She asked us sliced, shaved, four times. Cheap. So at the end, when we got the hot, 
We're like, let's let's cut our losses now and just move on because it's going to become a whole thing if we waste any more time here. Yep, that's but all right. But we like hot hot Genoa salami too. Yep. Can't believe it's not margarine. Oh yeah. And I like a little mustard on my Sammy's. Sometimes I do, but today I'm doing a, just the butter. These buns are kind of hard to butter. That's what she said. I was thinking that when I cut them open, that they were they would be a bit difficult, but I think they're going to be I delicious. I think I'll make, it, I'll make it through. They're going to be good. Okay. Nice thick slices, too. Yep. Look at that mild <laughs> salami. <laughs> Did you know it? Hey, that was a good Did joke. Did you know what we ordered mild? She forgot a. Yeah. Oh, mustarding it up, aren't you? Watch this professional mustard squirt. Okay. Ready? Ready. Wow. That's a pro. Look at that. Now, you went a little rambunctious there. Yeah. I, I, I've been known to get a little wild. Look at that. Oh, that's, that's a sandwich. You don't like cutting it in half. Cuttings for wimps. And I must be a wimp. Mmm. Bun good? We made the right choice with this bun. They oh, look yeah. delicious. They were the best ones there. The other ones are kind of stale. They, not just the meat lady was having problems. Zayers was having bun problems. They were all stale except for the cheese buns. So we took that as a sign. Oh. <laughs> Mm. How, right. How's the hot mild? Good. Mm. Mm. Good combo. Oh yeah, chips and Sammy. Ice cream time. I like your jacket. Thank you. <laughs> Blue notes. Even Don't know. though it's pink. Don't know if they got that in the States. <laughs> Look at this. So, ice cream time. These are old, the friends. They got just a little left. Cookies yeah. and cream and heavenly hash. <laughs> Look at these that just came to Canada, the friends. These are new. These are new. I've been waiting for this Chips Ahoy my whole life. And guys, let us know if you have tried these and how they are. Yeah. And <gasps> Rolo Cheesecake. Oh my goodness. That looks lovely. Let's take a leety snip. Yeah, take a taste test first. I call it a leety snip. A snippet of ice cream. That's good. Yeah? The ice cream, like, it's creamy. Like, it tastes like whipped cream almost. Really? Mm-hmm. And, and you have lots of, there's like chocolate chunks and cookie pieces. I appreciate chunk. I wish the the cookie pieces I had weren't that big. Yeah, I, I was thinking like if you want to make it pro version, you would actually get Chips Ahoy and like mash more in there. Yeah, but it tastes good. really good. For store-bought cheap ice cream, it's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. It looks pretty good. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. It tastes really good. Mm. Now, Rolo... Made this Nestle, yeah. They're trying to get fancy like. Now the Rolo, that's funny, we had the Rolo peanut butter today too, and it yeah. was just Reese's peanut butter cup. So we'll so, see about this thing. So let's see. It looks like normal Rolos in cheesecake ice cream. Unbox that bag. Wow, it looks it looks good, but you get I see, one Rolo. I see one. Oh, two. Two Rolos. Okay. One for me and one for you. Take a bite. This is the unsure face, if you're wondering. Okay, there's a tang at the end, but I don't really know what it's doing. It's tanging. It's good, but it's very, very mild it's flavor. Mild. And there, there literally is only one Rolo for you and one for me. <laughs> Very uh, cheap on the Rolos. Okay, the aftertaste is cheesecake. -y. Oh, another Rolo. Oh, there we, we go. We can have one more friend at our oh, birthday party. Oh, yeah. You're the, allowed three friends. The aftertaste is 
it is cheesecake. But if you were to ask me, is it worth buying? Is it worth buying? I would say buy the Chips Ahoy instead. Yeah, because, over those. Uh, yeah. These two. The Rolo, it's not... It's just it's not it's not not what I was hoping. Not cutting it. Yeah, when you claim to be Rolo Cheesecake, you gotta bring it, man. And, and also, you show this picture. Come on, man. Yeah, I want the cheesecake to hit me in the face. Whack. So I put a little cookies and cream and a slice of heavenly hash. Yeah, a slice. Um. This will jazz it up, right? The kids still say that jazz it up. <laughs> that was an awesome jazz. Thanks. And what? Chocolate sauce. And chocolate sauce. Like, mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. like that. That's how you jazz up boring ice cream. Rolo. Tell the friends. Nestle. I want to tell the friends something. Okay. When you pour the syrup, you have to make that sound. Yeah, okay. everybody knows that. Hoo ha, hoo ha, like that. Well, you didn't make that sound. I did. Oh. That's mm. a nice bite. Mmm. That's how you jazz it up. The syrup and whipped cream adds the finishing touch. <laughs> mm. What a nice bowl. I'm just going to spin it. Mmm. That's what we see also. Look at that. That's beautiful. Mmm. I'm gonna eat that, my friend. Enjoy the f enjoy the show. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my new grandma. You got new grandma slippers. I got new grandma slippers. What uh, Skechers? Yeah, I always like the Skechers for in the house. Hank likes yeah. Skechers too. Yeah, he do. You like Mama's new shoes? These new grandma slippers? Yeah, he do. You like Skechers for in the house, like schlepping around, but not training, right? Yeah, they're not good for training. They're not good for impact. But I like the memory foam because um, for some of the friends that don't know, I I have a very um, sensitive heel from when I was heavy. Um, it gets really sore if I don't wear shoes in the house with orthotics in them. So the Skechers are the best for that. But training, they're not so great. There's a tip for any friends that have heel or feet soreness problems. Skechers Sketch. for slippers. Yep. I wear them out the slippers, the friends. And these are my new ones. And I'm a little sad that they're not, they don't look like gardening gloves like your last ones. It's okay. I still got those as a backup. So you okay. don't miss them forever. Okay. That's good. That's look, good. the friends, look, we got fancy new food. But it's not KFC because in Canada, KFC and Taco Bell are in the same building. Yeah, they're best friends. The hey, friends. I got hot sauce. Yeah, lot. Guess what, the friends? We got this thing called the Big Box Meal. We got double layer tacos. They're new. And it comes with a burrito. You get two double layer tacos, a burrito, supreme fries, and that's it. Yes, and two does. double layer tacos, supreme fries. Now we ordered chipotle cheddar and nacho cheddar um, and we are each going to have one, but I'm not too sure which are which, so we'll have to take, we'll a, have to see. take a look here. Take a look, see, and, all, and of course you have to get Diet Pepsi because we're watching our figures. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's see. So this one maybe looks like a nacho? It's hard to tell, really. Um, let's let, we'll open them up and we'll see if they look similar, and if we don't know, we don't know, and we'll just try what we try and we'll see what we see. They all kind of, maybe they made a mistake. Maybe they're all Chipotle. Yeah, they all look the same. So we'll just take two and two. We'll just eat them. Okay, so let's <laughs> try this out. Hey, that's cool. So it's got like a soft and then a oh, hard shell. Oh, it's wrapped in a soft and a hard shell. Okay, so let's take a bite. Crunch action. Mmm, I like that. Mmm, yeah. Okay, this is, um, this tastes like Chipotle. Really? Mmm. That's got a nice kick. It's all inside that soft shell. Oh, yeah. And the crunch of the... Oh, wow, that's good. Glad it's good. Mm -hmm. We were excited. We, we seen the, adver the advert, oh. and we got, had to get right over there and get some. 
You got a little. I made you, a big. You, yeah, you got. You're good. You got it. I made a big mess. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -hmm. Oh yeah, these good. So this is gonna be a dinner. I'll show you. I think the burritos are pretty plain Jane. Yeah, I can help. Yeah, there's your typical burrito, and then we'll just show them the spring fries. Yeah. Because apparently these are like a Canadian specialty. Oh. Oh yeah. Now they they were a little bit jippy here. Yeah, a little bit jippy, and someone sat on this one here. See. But that's all right. That's okay. They're still gonna be delicious. Yeah. Yeah. This looks pretty good. Pretty delicious, the friend. Pretty good. So that's dinner. Bodybuilding meals. Mmm, they're gonna eat it. And jazz hands. And grandma Seuss. Slippers, right, Hank? And baby bear. You a good boy. You say hi to the friends. Hi to friends. Hi to friends. You a good boy. Have a fun dinner. <laughs> Are you talking to yourself? Yeah. Okay. And the friends. <laughs> you ready for the fashion show? Mm hmm. Is that your fifth outfit change for tonight? Mm -hmm. Fat man mm -hmm. pajamas. <laughs> I like clothes. I can tell. <laughs> so, you painted your toenails. Yeah, they don't show the front too close. They're messy. No, the front don't look. <laughs> I didn't clean around it yet. Oh, you didn't cl clean it up. <gasps> Don't you know you take a Q-tip with some polish remover and clean up the mess? You can't show them the mess. What is it with um, girls and changing clothes? <sighs> Don't you know sometimes you're just tired of your clothes and you had to put on a comfortable thing? But so then you get cold, so you wear a sweater. I got socks in my pocket. <laughs> what kind? Hippos on pizza skateboards. <laughs> Friends, some of you guys think this is an act. This is Nicole. It's hot in here. <laughs> she literally is not an act. She is a like hippo on skateboard socks. That's Nicole. What you see is what you get. No pizza skateboard. Oh, pizza skateboard. You gotta. Oh, that would be so good because then you What's can... What's wrong with your arm? Well, I was dreaming of eating my pizza skateboard. <laughs> but then you couldn't ride it anywhere. I get a new one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got... Frozen. Yeah. I'm an iceberg. You're an iceberg. Yeah. Hey, you'd be good in the wax museums. You could just you could just volunteer to work there. They wouldn't need to pay to make a wax figure. You could just stand there. And people would go, oh, that looks real. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't hold a straight face. That's the problem. Ready? Go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a terrible straight face. Okay, one more time. Wait, wait. One more time. Try your hardest this time. No, he's not holding his breath. <laughs> That's all I do. Straight face. Straight face. You, you got to breathe. Okay. <laughs> well, you lasted long that time. Okay, go. Okay. <laughs> no. It's hopeless. Go. One more time. One more time. Your job at the wax museum would last uh, five seconds, and then you do this, and they <laughs> kick you out or call the cops. I could enter, um, like a dance contest, something like that. Hey, to friends. Hey, it's time to go sleep. <laughs> you know what time it is? Med time. <laughs> this, um, and then I go, and then I wake up, and I'm back. <laughs> so you call a morning person right here and a night well not really a night person she fades as soon as i turn the camera off she like deflates and falls falls asleep almost immediately and rests up and then as soon as she he hears the record button go dang she's back yeah like that <laughs> okay to find the time for the nanny <laughs> 
Hope you enjoyed this. Tell me, are you a straight facer or what? Can you hold a straight face and not laugh? No, a straight facer that means. If you are a straight facer, put straight facer. facer. Or put SFF, straight facer friend. <laughs> <laughs> and so. We ate some of this. Oh yeah, we ate some of that. This is a new uh, smart food. It was good, actually really good. Almost down the whole bag. Oh whole yeah, you know those, uh, what, are, what are they called? Funyuns? Yeah, it tastes like Funyuns. Yeah, yeah, super delicious. And I ate a few more of these Hickory Vickies. Uh, not Hickory. Sweet Southern Barbecue. Not for you. You can't eat chips. No. Huh, it was sad about yeah, that. Got sad. And so now we're gonna go and sweep. <laughs> sweep? Sweep! Sleep, oh sleep. You know, get some rest. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to put a few straight face of friend or what. <laughs> like this. And one don't here. and don't forget to like and subscribe. I can do it. You got I know what the doom is, the straight face of doom, right? If you don't like and subscribe, you're gonna get this. The straight face of doom. Thanks Bye, for guys. watching.